Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. In this episode, I'd like to answer some common questions that we have from parents about their newborn or infant babies. Since my sister recently had a great baby boy a couple months ago and she said there's a lot of questions out there that she was looking for answers for and couldn't find good resources. So, the first question, how do you get something out of a baby's eye if it gets stuck in there? I think the best solution would be to start with an artificial teardrop to put a couple drops in the eye to help float or make the thing move out of the eye naturally. If it doesn't come out with the tears once you put in some drops to help flush it out, then you could take a clean cloth and wipe from the eye towards the corner to help remove the foreign body. When you put the teardrops in, this will help some and may make it easier to move once you try to wipe it and you may need to move down the lower eyelid or possibly may need to lift up the top eyelid in order to get better access to help wipe it out. Uh, the second question we often hear is when will we know what color our baby's eyes will be? While it's true that many people when they're born have a very light eye color, a blue or a blue gray, and this is true even for people who later in life have very dark brown eyes. This is because the iris, or the colored part of the eye, does not have much pigment when you're born. Usually over the first four to six months, this pigment gradually increases in people that have darker colored eyes, and at that time, parents can know better what the baby's eyes color will actually be. Uh, third question we often hear, how far can my baby see? While it's true that as soon as a baby is born, his vision is pretty poor, maybe around the range of 22,000. This means that most of the world will be very blurry if they try to look out. But this rapidly improves, and even during the first day or two, the vision probably comes up to the range of around 2,400, which allows the baby to see up close where it could actually see faces. And then, over the next month or two, the vision continues to dramatically increase to where it gets to near normal vision in the first month or two. The reason it's not present immediately at birth is because the macula, or the fine central vision of the eye, does not completely develop until after birth. In babies that are born prematurely, this takes even longer because the macula really develops closer to the time of their term, and so you would have to back up the time frame uh, for more premature babies. Another question we often get is, why do they put ointment in the baby's eyes when they're born? Usually now, this ointment is erythromycin used at most, ho most hospitals, and it is used to prevent a conjunctivitis or infection of the front part of the eye uh, that can happen in newborns. This is very much better tolerated than the old silver nitrate that was used to prevent these infections and is usually pretty successful in keeping the baby's eyes healthy right when they're born. So I'm sure there are more questions out there. If you are wondering anything else about a newborn or infant baby, as far as their eyes go, please post your comments. We'd be happy to interact with you. And we hope to see you again soon on A State of Sight.